What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. And today we are going to be doing an amazing episode. Um, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to know how to make the absolute most money in crypto and with the ICP crypto coin itself. So today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to live off of your staking rewards by spawning a new neuron on the internet computer and to get your ICP coins. So check this out. Um, I am going to be getting um, a nice little um, amount of ICP. I have a nice number of ICP stakes, so I am getting massive rewards. Um, I only have it locked up for two years. I plan to have a possible two-year neuron, a four-year neuron, and a possible eight-year neuron all um, in different neurons, all locked for different periods of time. And I will be collecting um, rewards from all of them. Today, we are going to look at my um, two-year neuron with a nice amount of ICP in it and a nice amount of staking rewards. The cool thing is when you stake your ICP, um, you can choose to either um, add your ICP to the staking and compound your interest, um, which puts more ICP in your staking, and then you get more rewards for it. Or you can do what we're doing today, which is spawning a new neuron. And what that does is it takes the ICP rewards from staking that you receive, and it puts it in an unlocked neuron that you can withdraw at that point. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you how to take your um, staking rewards out of a neuron by spawning a new neuron. Let's get right into this today, guys. Um, let's get right over there. And here is the network nervous system. I will link a um, link to this in the description so you can see. This is my main account right here. It only has about half an ICP in it. Um, but this is just my main account. This isn't the, um, the uh, neuron. So what you want to do is you want to go in here to your neuron. And most of you already know this. Um, and if you don't, just go to my staking video and I explain all of it. But as you see, I have a nice amount, 1,630 ICP right here for one year, 296 days. So the cool part about having this much ICP with a 2019 voting power, and look, I have 12.99 maturity, which is 12.99 ICP. I have already staked 7.22 of them. So this is going to give me 5.77 ICP when I spawn this because this is already staked. And you cannot take that out after you already stake it, which is, um, it used to be called merge maturity. Now you're staking the maturity and it shows you how much you have there. And then your original amount um, will be up here, right there. And then um, you can decide to either stake this, which would add to this um, total stake. Or now, as you see right here, I can spawn a new neuron, which would take this 5.77 ICP um, to a new neuron. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's try this spawn a new neuron. I've never done this before. So this is my very first time doing this. Um, maturity available. Burn maturity to mint new ICP tokens. This will cause a new neuron to be spawned in your account. In one week, new ICP tokens will be minted and added to this neuron. At that time, it will be possible to disperse the new ICP tokens from inside the neuron into an account. The quantity of new ICP minted will depend on the ICP price trend at the time. See the wiki page. The newly minted ICP may be seen as income by tax authorities since it's a kind of cryptocurrency and you should plan accordingly. Always speak to a tax advisor. So that's what they're saying here. Um, I actually know a little bit different than that, but I'm just going to go with that for now. So I want to take 100% of this 5.77 um maturity that i have right here and i'm going to spawn a new neuron which will be 5.77 icp and this is literally i got all that 12.99 icp in less than like two weeks so i'm getting almost an icp every single day i love it okay let's spawn this and that's only for two years imagine if i locked it up for eight years i'd be getting like probably two icp every single day <laughs> it's so crazy when this neuron has finished, oh, um, spawning, newly minted ICP will be added. The quantity of new ICP minted will depend on the ICP price trend. You will then be able to disperse this new ICP if you wish. So I have to wait seven days. That's something I didn't know before. 
Um, I thought it was actually instant, but that's okay. Um, it takes seven days um, in order to spawn a new neuron. And then I will get my 5.77 ICP. And then I can do whatever I want with it. My new neuron with ID um, has been spawned. This is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. And as you see, if we go into my other neuron, now all I have left is that 7.22 that I already staked in um, my account. So I have a total of 1,337.99 actually um, total. So I have a nice amount. I'm going to keep adding to this. Um, you can. The cool thing is, is you can, um, after you spawn a new, new neuron, the next time if I want to stake my maturity again and I want to add to this, I can. Or if I want to spawn another neuron after this, I can as well. So if you're like, okay, I need a little bit of money for this next coming week. Let's spawn a new neuron. And then you're good for money. The next week you're like, okay, I want to stake this maturity. Let's uh, add to my staking bonus. So this has a little bit for everybody. I think um, this is a very important part of the internet computer crypto. And you could live off of these rewards. If you get enough, imagine if you had it for eight years and you had, say, 5,000 ICP. You would legit be getting anywhere from like five to 10 ICP every single day. And then you spawn a new neuron once a week and you have anywhere from 35 to 70 ICP in there. So it could be really, really beneficial depending on how long you lock it up, how much ICP you have in there and, um, you know, all of that stuff. So, and if you didn't dissolve and let it sit for a couple of years. All right, guys, that being said, goodbye and good ICP. Bang!